Ready to smoke this dope, so I pull on my bros Leave IG, then I put on my clothes Grabbing my keys, then I head out the door I box in the wood, can't see from the smoke how are you guys doing today and welcome back to the channel so for today's video i decided to change up the content and instead of showcasing my outfits i'm gonna be showcasing you guys outfits so these outfits were submitted to me through twitter and ig so i'll leave my social medias up on screen now if you guys want to submit them for the next video so depending on how good this video does i will be doing a part two to it and on part two i'm gonna be giving away a free og barcode so that means a barcode that has no dashes just straight og barcode or i might be giving away a gift card we'll see how it goes so if you guys do want to see a part two make sure to drop a like so this video gets out there so basically in this video i'm gonna be rating your outfits one through ten and then at the end of the video i'll pick like the one i like the most out of the ten of them and there was a lot of submissions so if your outfit did not make it don't think your outfit is ugly because honestly there was way too many good outfits that i had to pass down but i just couldn't fit them all in this video or else it would have been too long so i only chose ten of them and before i start rating these outfits just know it's my opinion everybody has their own opinion on outfits certain people like certain components like me personally for for the most part i like all the components except for the scuba flippers like in my opinion if you have scuba flippers you should be inside the water and that's it like outside of the water it just looks ugly and weird in my opinion so i did have to turn down like a couple outfits that had the scuba flippers but they were like still pretty cool like other than that they were still like nice outfits so just know you guys are really creative and i liked a lot of the outfits but this is just my opinion and my opinion only all right but anyway let's get right into this video so for the first outfit we have this one here which is the orange and the white outfit and i'm not gonna lie this one is pretty cool it matches everything pretty good so i like the rebreather and the top the white the the white joggers look pretty cool everything matches pretty cool even the logos and even the gloves like everything just matches pretty cool the only thing i don't really like is the boots so those are like kind of like work boots i think to me it just looks like he's gonna go work construction like at nine in the morning and then he got a try hard tournament like at three in the afternoon if he was to choose like some other shoes maybe like an orange canvas or something like that it would look even better in my opinion but other than that i like the duffel bag so i would give this outfit like a seven out of ten all right so now we're gonna be moving on to the next outfit all right guys so this guy actually submitted like at least 20 outfits in total so he had a bigger chance of of getting selected but just for the next time there's gonna be a rule of only one outfit being submitted so for this outfit i honestly did not like the wireframe before until i started seeing his outfits so he made a lot of wireframe outfits and they're all really nice i'm not gonna lie i like how he matched the outfit so for the shoes and gloves he chose white and then for the helmet he chose blue which matches with the wireframe and then he also put the badge and the cup and the belt so that just makes it look even better and then he even added the logo so he pretty much has a stacked outfit and you always gotta have the glow glasses you know it just adds on to the outfit so this outfit would be pretty cool to play a running gun or even free mode too so honestly i'm gonna have to give this outfit like a like a solid 8.5 out of 10 or even a 9 like i really like this outfit so shout out to him he has a lot of nice outfits i don't know if you guys noticed but it even has the cuffs on his left hand and on the other hand it has like glow bracelets that's actually pretty creative like this outfit's all over over the place but at the same time it's like it still looks really nice all right guys so let's move on to the next outfit all right so for this next outfit we have a dunce outfit and this one honestly this one's really really nice i would rock this outfit like any day of the week so first off we have the dunce cap which already like in almost any outfit makes it look like 10 times even better and then after that we have glow glasses which is pretty cool for like the night it glows and then we have a colored rebreather some people have hate towards rebreathers nowadays but like the, the colored ones it's like a new component so it's pretty cool too and then we have the top that matches perfectly with the gloves and the accessories and then of course you're gonna have the white joggers which matches with everything else and then you always gotta have a bell i don't know if you guys see it right there it's on the side and he has the badge so this outfit's also pretty much stacked all the way to the max it just needs like a parachute or a duffel bag but just as it is it still looks nice it looks simple i would rock this outfit any day of the week also so honestly i would give this outfit like a 10 out of 10 and i'm gonna be kind of nice there's gonna be like a, a lot of outfits that are gonna be high up in the numbers but it is the best one out of like a hundred submissions so let me know what you guys think of these outfits and make sure to rate them with me as i'm going all right guys so for the next outfit now we have a ps3 outfit i call it a ps3 outfit because these components are like old components these 
components have been around since like 2013 when the game released but still I, I would still rock these outfits like till this day so first off we have like a really good uh, matched outfit except for the checkered since it's ps3 that was like the thing back then you would have to have checkered in your outfit to make it look modded so we have the checkered glasses and the hat and after that we have uh, the two armors which one is the ceo armor and then the utility vest and i think that utility vest like helps your if you get shot in the body it actually does help you so that's pretty cool too he doesn't have the military top he has a flight to one that's even like better in my opinion and then he has the pretty much he has the team pant and then the gloves and shoes all match with it so this outfit is pretty cool too because not a lot of people use green camo usually everybody has black gray or tan camos but green nobody really has it so i would honestly wear this outfit myself and this outfit i'm gonna rate it like a eight honestly too because the component Opponents are really old but it still looks nice oh and i think i missed it but i think he has like a duffel bag too you can kind of see like the strip by his stomach like in the middle of his stomach so the top fit is a pretty much a solid eight too all right so now we're going to be moving on to the next outfit all right so for the next outfit we have a female this is like one out of the two female outfits i chose so this outfit also matched pretty cool most of these outfits are matched really nice together so this outfit has a wireframe has a color bulletproof helmet white joggers i really like the white uh, pouches you don't really see those too often but i think they should be used more in modded outfits so basically this outfit's matched with like pink white and like a teal green so it has a duffel bag in the back and that matches with like the glasses and everything and then the shoes are pretty cool too i haven't really seen those shoes in any outfits like everything's pretty much matched pretty good i don't have a female character but honestly if i did have one i would honestly like wear this myself and then i don't know if it has the, i don't know what's up with those pants i think they're like logos onto there but they're only in the pants so i'm i'm not sure what they are and i also like the glow components I've, i don't know if you guys could tell but like on the top picture it has like the glow bracelet and that's pretty cool when they light up in the night so i would get this outfit like a solid seven just because I'm, i wouldn't really wear pink you know but that's because i'm a guy if you probably if you show this to a girl they will rate it like a solid 10 i don't know all right but anyways we're gonna be moving on to the next outfit all right so next up we have this blue and black outfit and this looks like a i've seen a couple modded outfits that have like the top but with joggers but this one looks like a mixture of like a modded outfit and like a base outfit so that looks pretty cool this one's really nice in my opinion so it has the the blue bulletproof helmet with checkered glasses so that adds on to like the modded aspect of it and then we have the jacket which is a blue jacket i think he's shirtless and then to cover up his stomach he put like a blue colored armor so that looks pretty cool too and then the logos i like those logos too that one that says uh old era and he has those the base pants you guys know every bass player has an outfit with those pants at least one outfit but i mean they're pretty cool i'm not gonna hate you guys can see right there he has the adversary colored gloves with the cuffs so that looks pretty try hard like literally the cuffs are sticking out of the jacket or like i don't know if they're blending in it looks pretty cool in my opinion and then you gotta have the black and white skate shoes so that's kind of i don't want to say basic but like it's it just it looks nice it's black and white so black and white goes with anything basically so honestly i'm gonna have to give this outfit for my liking honestly i really like this outfit i would wear this outfit any day of the week so i'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10 so now we're gonna be moving on to the next outfit and honestly i already lost count i think we're like on outfit number seven so for this outfit we have this one right here and honestly i like really like this one it's kind of basic you could have added like a couple like logos maybe I th i'm not sure if he does have logos because you can have you could kind of see like writing on his shoulder but other than that i like how it matches and i like the black joggers not a lot of people use black joggers anymore mostly everybody uses like white i like how it all matches together pretty good we have the white bulletproof glow glasses and then that shirt matches with like basically everything it has black it literally has all the colors in the outfit so that shirt was pretty much spot on for that outfit and it also has cuffs without gloves i would have added like some black fingerless gloves but still looks pretty cool and the sport shoes well they match with everything basically too so i would give this outfit without the parachute and um some logos i would give it like a seven 
because it could be added like a couple more things to it all right but let's move on to outfit number eight and i'm gonna be showing you guys this female outfit honestly bro this is like this is like one of the best outfits i've seen in a while the only thing i don't really like it's the armor i feel like if it would have had like armor that actually fits the the character then it would be a lot a lot better but it still looks like really nice in my opinion so we have the bulletproof helmet with some checkered glasses and then that sweater like pretty much goes with everything and i think it has like logos on there too and that sweater looks pretty cool because i think it has like the skeleton uh design on it so it just looks a lot more try hard and then it also has the armor but that's the only thing i i don't really like it's like kind of looks ripped so it's kind of like pointless but it still like adds on to it it gives it like a more modded aspect to it and then we have the tron pants i don't really like tron pants but in this outfit like it just goes with this so that looks cool too then it has the badge and it even has a belt so that looks pretty cool it looks all try hard and the shoes that it has honestly i really like those shoes because you could buy like all colored canvas except those you can't really buy those on the store you actually have to um glitch them into your outfits and then to top it off it has the duffel bag to match with the armor the bulletproof helmet so basically it's like a all white and black outfit plus the logos so I'm, I'm gonna give this outfit like a 10 out of 10 too if i had a female character i would for sure wear this outfit too so this outfit deserves like a 10 out of 10 so now we're going to be moving on to the next outfit which is outfit number nine so in my opinion this outfit is also pretty cool i really like this outfit just because of the pouches again i have something for the pouches and this time they're not white they're actually gray which i had not seen ever before so i just think it gives you like a more try hard and like a, it gives you like a new look in my opinion because these are like new components we've been using old components for like a long ass time already i'm talking about years so when i see like pouches or like new components like that i just automatically like them them. so this outfit's pretty much like an all gray outfit and it's a try hard outfit but everything like just matches together the only thing i would change instead of the shoulder pads i would honestly put like a belt it would just give it like a better look in my opinion and the black belt would also match with those racing gloves that he has on and the shoes so so that's pretty cool too all right so i'm gonna have to give this outfit a solid nine i would definitely wear this outfit any day of the week last but not least we have outfit number 10 and for this outfit we're going with another dunce outfit right off the bat i'm not really a fan of, of jerseys because of how wide they stick to the sides but this outfit already has those big uh space boots so so it doesn't really matter everything's pretty much big anyway so but this outfit has a dunce but i do like how this outfit has the pouches not only does it have the utility vest pouches but it also has the white ones and that just gives it like a better modded look and it matches with with the jersey and the pants too so that's pretty cool like i said i really like the pouches and then he even has invisible arms so that looks cool too and he has race logos so this outfit in my opinion is really solid too the only thing i don't really like the how it's kind of big and like when you run it just feels slower but other than that i'm gonna have to give this outfit a solid eight so that's pretty much all the outfits that we have for today if i would have to choose one it's gonna be really hard to choose one out of all the outfits due to the fact that they're all really nice but i'm gonna have to go with this female outfit here only if i could get this like in the male outfit that would be like the best that would be really dope because it could be used for like free mode and everything and i just like like basically every component on the outfit and honestly it was really hard to pick one out of the 10 because they're all really nice in my opinion like i picked these because these are like the ones that stood out more in my eye and i only chose it because i would honestly use this outfit like basically in any game mode i'm talking about like beach base like any game mode it's pretty much an outfit for like everything if that makes sense all right but that's gonna be it for this video if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and let me know if you guys want to see part two but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one